And the gentlewoman from Georgia is now recognized. Thank yeah. you, Mrs. Chair. Uh, my Democrat colleague across the aisle, who's 80 years old and has been here over 30 years, just said we're on the verge of a shutdown. Uh, she probably just forgot that a few hours ago she voted for the continuing resolution uh, that will extend the budget, and we are not on the verge of a shutdown. So I just wanted to note that for the record. I also urge my colleagues to vote for my amendment. We should pass this Holman rule. We need to protect our kids. No males belong in women's sports and schools, and parents are not terrorists and never should be recommended that way. So Thank the ladies' you, time Chair. has expired. Thank you. Not for what purpose does gentlelady? I rise to strike the last word. General Rome is recognized for five minutes. I'm very well of the, 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 the rule uh, of, the, of the, the vote that we took earlier this evening. It may be that the general lady doesn't know that there is another body attached to the U.S. Congress called the United States Senate, and they have to vote on the continuing resolution. And when they vote on it, we'll find out what it is that they do with regard to this continuing resolution passed by the House, which quite frankly is flawed to a fare thee well, flawed to a fare thee well in meeting our obligations both domestic and international. And by the way, it isn't a law of the land or done until the President of the United States signs it. That may be a basic level, in, a lesson in civics. There is the House, there is the Senate, and there is the President. And quite frankly, the budget agreement that had been signed by the President for a, a basic primer in civics is that the budget agreement passed the House overwhelmingly. And it passed the Senate. And it was signed by the President. It's the law of the land, which my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have dismissed, walked away from, and quite frankly, don't understand the process of government, an unwillingness to govern and an inability to govern.